up everybody, I'm Andemar Central and you join me in a rush in Leeds City Centre. Um, this morning's commuting here hasn't particularly gone to plan and the bus ended up running a fair bit late. Um, and I've got a slight planned connection for this whole video to kind of work. Um, and it's looking like it's going to be quite tight. Um, but hey ho, we do love a bit of a challenge from time to time. So in this video, um, by request of quite a few people and something I did want to do myself, in my last Arriva focused video we had a look at all of the North East vehicles. So we had a look at the different batches of Pulsars that have rocked up and the E200s that have shown up from the North East. Told you a little bit of history about them, how many vehicles they've got, where they're based etc etc. Um, but whilst that's been happening as well, there's also been um, quite a number of ex Merseyside Pulsar 1s joined the fleet, um, predominantly 58 plates um, that have joined, so CX-58s um, that have joined, all based at the moment at Wakefield, shaky wakey, um, so all based at Wakefield. So in this video, all being well, um, we're going to sample a few of them. Um, there's two predominant batches, there's mainly the CX-58s um, that you see a load of, um, but then there's also the odd MX-09 as well. So cross fingers, um, we may manage um, the MX-09 too because it is out um, on the day that I'm filming this. So yes, um, I'm going to rush off now, so I'll make our bus and our first bus of the day um, is either going to be a 200, 201, 202 or 203 depending on how um, quick I get down there um, towards White Rose for hopefully cross fingers if all the allocations are correct, our first ex Merseyside Pulsar of the video. So it looks like I've got quite lucky. Um, I've got here and there's one that's um, due on the board and another one in a couple of minutes time. Um, so hopefully one of them shows up and we can whisk over to White Rose and have a little bit of spare time um, before all being well, saying all the allocations have remained as they have and I haven't checked them yet because I've been busy getting here. Um, but cross fingers um, that the ex Merseyside Pulsar that was on the 118 to Wakefield is still on that diagram. So cross fingers and um, everything goes to plan. So there we go, 1549 will be our bus to White Rose today, one of the ex northeast DB300s. So here we are at White Rose, that was 15.49, now what I need to do is I need to try and find the stand, I believe it's further up here, um, the stand where the 118 goes from. So the 118 itself um, set off, or apparently tracked is setting off um, at 10.15 from Wakefield bus station, but hasn't tracked since. So I'm really hoping it runs, um, it should do, I don't see any reason why it, why it won't run. Um, but sometimes when stuff goes off the tracker um, at its starting point, it is a little bit concerning. So as I say, cross fingers, it is still running. Um, I mean, they've not put any cancellation up or anything daft like that. It's all been well. It should be here very shortly and then should take us over to Wakefield on the 11.05.118 service. Here we go, so here it is, CX58 EWE. That'll take us on the 11.05.118 previously, Arriva Merseyside 
so this is 1422 we're about halfway along the route now um, between white rose and wakefield now the old 118 service um used to be the 481 back in the day that used to run between leeds and wakefield now to um sort of conform the numbers um, and make them match the old 117 that Arriva um, don't run anymore, that was replaced in part by the 116 by station coaches. Um, the 481 was renumbered the 118. The idea was, is uh, combined the 117 and the 118 um, sort of were half hourly down Dewsbury Road and there were other parts of the routes in which they were similar on um, and they wanted the numbers to be quite close and what have. Now when the 117 went, um, Arriva Wakefield uh, managed to save about three buses on their peak vehicle requirements um, and at the time they were still cutting back. So the 118 um, was changed as well. Um, as back in the day it used to go um, through Middleton, get to the bottom of Tommy Wass and then turn right and go straight up Dewsbury Road into Leeds. Now they worked out that um, in order to save a bus and provide new connections, um, if they made the 118 turn left and turn around the White Rose, they could provide a new route for shoppers on this route, so anybody that fancies, um, it, this just sounds lovely, um, anybody who um, fancies um, something a bit different, um, wants to do a shopping day rather than Leeds, they can go direct to White Rose, and alternatively they can catch another bus, one of the 200 series, into Leeds. So that's why they changed this and in turn the safer bus. So not many people know about the 118 anymore. Um, at any one time there's only two buses on the route. Now it takes about four to five minutes end to end. And as I say, they saved the bus. Now this one, as I say, is 1422. Now this used to be 2692 in the Arriva Merseyside Arriva Northwest Fleet. Um, and it's now one of the um, growing numbers of Pulsar 1 um, single deckers now at Wakefield. Now I'll explain in a bit um, as to why these are all here as there is good reason behind it. Um, but this one, um, it does seem to be okay. It seems to be a box standard one. It's got the updated seat maquette in it. It is a little bit um, messy at the moment, although it did do a store this morning. And as you can hear, um, it does seem to be incredibly slow on hills. Um, it does seem to have to drop in to kick down more than rev and rev and rev um, in order to go on hills. It seems to be quite a sluggish example. Now, from friends of mine who have been on these already, they do say that this one is the most sluggish of them all. Um, it's 1422, um, so hopefully um, the other ones that we've got one are going to be a little bit better than this. Um, but I don't mind because it does sound cold. Yes, it is a little bit slower, but it does sound pretty, um, pretty nice. So I'm not complained. So yeah, um, we're currently in one of the industrial estates now. So I'll show you a few more clips um, as we make our way around, a bit more around the houses on our way to Wakefield bus station. So yeah, compared to the pre-existing 62 plates, there are a few differences with these vehicles. Um, now we'll start off actually with the back. Um, now you notice that there's this um, element here. You don't usually get this um, on the Pulsar 2s, the 62 plates. That's because they're slightly higher up. So this seat itself, ever so slightly higher up. Um, and how they've done it as well is this um, element is also more in the Arriva, Arriva colours rather than just in white. The earlier examples had it just in white and a slightly different bodywork style um, reflected that this needed to be a little bit more prominent. So you've got your same standard seat, seat and maquette on this one. There is an, is an example at the moment um, with Belial Depot um, that does have the old seat in maquetting, the original one that went with the Cotswold Stone livery. However, I don't believe that one's out today, unfortunately, um, although I was hoping for a ride on it. It means I'll have to come back at some other point. So it means that likely hoodies is the other ones of these that we're going to get today um, are going to have the same maquette in. They also have the yellow crab poles, that again is a slightly older Arriva feature having yellow crab poles. Um, the newer ones um, don't tend to have um, the yellow ones, um, but really so it is a quite nice throwback. And if you notice as well, the front of the vehicle, the cab door and that area 
um, it is slightly different to what you'd expect on a Pulsar. It looks a little bit more reminiscent of an old um, B7 Hourly um, with the old cab door um, and bits associated with it. So as I say, there are a few slight differences. Um, I mean, it's like the stepping paths, for example, as well. Um, slightly different again, as I say, that's why it's slightly lower. Um, but yeah, um, that's your main differences between these Pulsar 1s and 2s. If you notice as well, there is a yellow sticker at the front that you might just be able to see um, that denotes free Wi-Fi. Um, something that Aviva North West pretty much introduced its standard across their entire fleet. Thank you very much. So here we are in Wakefield. Now, as we jumped off that bus, um, I'll see if we can actually have a little look at it. Um, but I noticed something actually quite interesting um, in the fact that this bus appears um, to have a little sticker um, saying welcome to the um, B network. So I will I will accept um, I'll sell and accept and be network tickets in Greater Manchester. So presumably it worked in the Northwest business close to and um, where the B network commences. Um, and as a result, and um, they put that sticker on. So it was clearly not a potentially a Manchester bus, potentially not. Um, but regardless, um, it was definitely close to the B network. So interesting for this one, and interesting it's still got the sticker as well but to people around here until franchising does happen doesn't really mean that much so there we go so we have to get the photo of 1422 this is going to be our next one number 1420 um, on the 118 now this used to be 2689 um, within the Arriva North East fleet that does actually remind me I'm pretty certain I've been on 2689 might do a little bit of research while we wait for the bus um, before it loads up but this, was, um, this is CX58 EWB There we go, so that was a nice short ride, but still a nice ride on 1420. So we're now going to whiz across the road to wait for our bus back that unfortunately isn't um, another um, 
X Mirrors aside, pole salvage is um, a little E200 if it's tracking correctly. So, little E200 will take us into Wakefield, hopefully for our next one, potentially even two Merseyside pulsars. Now, we don't know who's going to be on camera yet, so I've given him a little bit of a heads up, but we've also found a Steve as well who will be joining us um, for the remainder of the video, hopefully, um, just like us to tick off quite a few um, Merseyside pulsars today. So here we go, so here's our bus back into Wakefield. Little E200 MIDI YY14LFW, um, otherwise known as 1010. And a Reva Yorkshire um, vehicle through and through. So here we are back in Wakefield, now we've got a little bit of time for our next bus, all being well, um, the 1310-496 that we will take as far as Emsworth. So we're going to have a little bit of time to get some food and then we'll wait at the 496 stop for the bus behind the one that's currently loading up. So there we go, so ours is going to be the 1310 to note, the one behind does look to be cancelled, so hopefully it won't be too visible this one. Um, but as I say, all being well, um, 1310 um, should be ours, and it should be 1449. So unlike the ones that we've been on already, that were all CX58 plates, um, Pulsar 1 bodywork, um, this one is a Pulsar 2, um, just like the ones that are commonly known around here, just like that one over there, um, but this is an 09 plate, so it's about six months um, newer than the Pulsar 1s, um, but has a Pulsar 2 bodywork, so we'll see what it's like, um, see how good it is, hopefully it's just as good um, on our run on the 496, probably as far as Emsworth. So here we are, coming in now. Is 1449 MX09 EKY that will take us on our 496 as far as Emsworth. Yeah, this just like 1420 has had a refurbished interior fitted. Looks very, very nice with its. Um, sort of dark blue e-liver seating. So this one's not too bad, it does feel like the emissions light is on again on this one as it is, it is limping um, a little bit more than I would expect. Although as you can hear, as a result it does sound quite good, it, it's more I would say just like 14, 20 and 22. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit quicker but it, it seems that um, it, it, it must, um, must have the emissions light on or something, have a slight fault with it. But either all still a nice bus, still very comfy. Um, you can tell by the seats that it used to have um, the old, old maquette on, just like the Aviva North East on NK09s have, just like 1443 um, that Aviva Yorkshire now have um, before they refurbished it with the e-leather seating. So you can tell it used to have that with the seat backs. 
And the vehicle's quite comfy. Again, these are nine plates, just like the one in Wings and North Eat and the North East, and in between the O9s and the 62s, have this same white panel at the back, um, just like um, the, the 58s do, because it was just before the 62s um, and stuff like that came along when they slightly remodelled um, the bodywork um, to get rid of that and to sort of make it blend in a little bit more with your re delivery. Thank you. So there we go, so that was the lovely 1449, as I say, it felt a little bit slow, but even then still provided a nice run, still quite a lot of nice high revs, um, so no complaints from me. So we'll get a, a quick photo of it as it leaves, and then we'll wait back in the um, bus station for hopefully, um, it's not tracking, but I've been reliably informed it's on it, hopefully another one of these ex Merseyside pulsars, potentially our last one of the day um, on the 496 back to Wakefield. So this one is um, what used to be 2903 in the um, Arriva North West Fleet, still carrying the number 2903 on it, and um, it's now numbered 1431 within the Arriva Yorkshire Fleet. Um, again, based at Belle Isle, again a Pulsar 1, um, it's got a load of old, um, old Arriva maquette, it's got a few other bits and bobs from the 2009 era as well, and um, when they tried with some other style of maquette, they did it around here on the Tempos and the E200s, E200s still carry it, um, I know they're in um, the North West and in the North East, they had it on their Pulsars near at the same time. It does also have a few other bits of new maquettes, it's definitely an oddball vehicle, you can tell they haven't done much refurbishment work to this, and it also as well features some old um, Arriva posters up and down um, about music and other passenger information on board. So it looks really, really cool, a nice little throwback in time, would be quite nice to see this alongside the X North East um, 1443 at some point as well, I feel like that would be quite a nice photo, both of these, and um, this one in the proper original Cotswold Stone and that one in the hybrid interurban Cotswold livery. Um, so it's pretty pretty cool, but for now, um, decent bus, um, pretty, um, not not the trashiest of drivers, um, but the bus has provided a decent run, um, steady it is, um, but the vehicle's not struggling, and it is nice to see. So there we go, so that was um, our um, track out on what is currently um, out of the 
um, Merseyside Pulsars arriving, what is currently in service out of them and um, that we're hopefully expecting very soon. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up as to what means the thought of the buses and we'll have a little chin wag over the Gregs that we're about to eat um, and I'll feed back what we thought of them, the positives, the negatives um, and how many we are expecting, what we've got at the moment um, and any of the bits and bobs that I may have missed. So to summarise this video and the ex Merseyside and the Reva North West Pulsars now with Arriva Yorkshire. Now the idea behind this swap um, is that in Liverpool they have to run vehicles on 10th contracts um, no sort of older than 15 years of age and all of the vehicles coming across predominantly are CX-58s um, that are now over 15 years old so need swapping off the Liverpool network. So the idea behind it is, is that the Wakefield YJ62, so that's like 1456, 7, some of the 1460s, um, all of those Pulsar 2s are going to go over to the North West in order to keep with the agreement that they have in Liverpool for vehicles no older than 15 years old on their services. So in return, mainly CX-58 Pulsar 1s are going to be transferring from the North West to Arriva, Yorkshire. Predominantly at the moment being based at Belle Isle. So it's basically a direct swap. It's not like when they've done swaps in the past where it's sort of been like a triangle loop and stuff's been switched and swapped all over. This is just a basic Pulsar 2 for Pulsar 1 swap. So although you could see as well there is the odd MX-09, you've got to remember that they're also cracking on 15 years now, um, so there might be a few more of them. Um, but there are many still arriving, I mean as you saw in this video while we were filming it, 1423 passed us on delivery, um, previously six, um, 2693 I believe. Um, so they are still arriving at the moment, um, and the idea is, is they will fill the current fleet number gaps. So at the moment, there's sort of the likes of 14, 20, 22, 25, 26, 31, and, and odd, odd little ones in between that are here at the moment, but they're the main ones in service. So there'll be um, vehicles that will be filling the gaps. So they've all been allocated a fleet number, it's just as and when they get delivered. So basically, whatever gaps are currently in the fleet numbering scheme, they will be filled with uh, most likely a CX-58, but possibly a couple more MX-09s, just like 1449 from Arriva North West. So it's all very exciting. These Pulsar ones are, are different. I mean, they, they, they're pretty different um, sounding with the kickdown and they are slightly older. So a little bit more interest from an enthusiast perspective. Um, they, some of them do need a little bit of work doing to them. I think they've been worked quite hard in the North West. So once they've had the necessary work done, um, they will fly just as quick as the 62 plates do um, and hopefully sound even better. But yeah, with all that in mind, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so the mob up can find it energy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Admore Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life public transport industry. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye for now. Bye.